Hello, Wicked Theory fans. Edward O'Hare, nickname to be determined here. And I just finished watching uh, Captain America Civil War. And, um, yeah, it was really good. It was really good. It's, this is, this, I don't like it's that, like, there's Winter Soldier in it and Captain America in it, but this is, uh, let's face it, this is an Avengers movie. Let, let's be honest with ourselves. Let's, like, boil it down and say this, this is an Avengers movie, you know, because, like, it's all about Iron Man and, and the conflict there. And, yeah, I know. I know it's got Winter Soldier in it. I know the whole thrust of it is is there. And, like, at the end, like, you know, it's Captain America that's good. But it's it's an Avengers movie, right? It's an Avengers movie. It's an Avengers movie. So, um... Yeah, there's that. Uh, I feel like this almost like this. This was like a huge culmination. Like you know, everyone being out. I feel like this almost introduced more elements than Age of Ultron, but it did it in a more subtle way. You know, they didn't just like threw stuff on top of you. They like they like kneaded it into the dough. You know, so like it all felt natural. You didn't feel like you were being overwhelmed with it. You had time to breathe with each character as you were um as you were introduced to them and uh you know everyone had their moments. And it's it's a longer movie, but you know, um it's worth it. And like, you know, phase three, we're starting off dark. There's like a the, if you go from Ant Man straight to this, there's a huge shift in tone. Like a huge shift in tone. You know, I mean and everyone kind of everyone kind of has their moment, you know. Black Panther has his thing, Spider Man has his thing. Even Vision and Scarlet Witch have that, you know, weird kind of flirting thing, you know. And you know, Vision talks about how he's he you know, he wants to know more about the Mind Stone, which, by the way, is the fourth Infinity Stone on the board. Um, so there's no more Infinity Stones here, but that's you know, like I guess that's the thing that's not Avengers is that Thanos doesn't show up at the end. Um. You know, you know, but uh, it was nice to see General Ross back that, you know, they're still honoring the Incredible Hulk movie. Um, and yeah, I just realized it's been like two years. There's going to be like, you know, another five movies to go before before we see most of these characters again. And they're on the run. They're on the run. They're on the almost all the Avengers except um, Spider-Man and, and, and Iron Man and War Machine, they're, they're on the run, they were in prison, so yeah, yeah, it's late, I gotta go to bed, I gotta go to bed, but I will see you again after I watch 2016's Doctor Strange. Hello, Wicked Theory fans. Edward O'Hare, nicknamed to be determined here. And I just watched Doctor Strange. It's part of my, uh, trip through the MCU. Binging everything. And, um, well, this is another very standard by the numbers superhero movie. And they wrap in another genre. This one's, uh, this one's like your, uh, your fantasy stuff, like, you know, your, your magic stuff, and, you know, I mean, there's still, they still tell you, it's like, it's kind of like the Thor thing, where, like, it looks like magic, but it's really science, you know, that, that, that kind of deal, that kind of deal, that kind of deal, that kind of deal, that works, that works, you know, Benny, Benny's good, Benedict Cumberbatch, it's, you know, Benny, Benny does, Benny's solid, you know, he's, he's good, um, you know, you got Mads, you know, the Cassie's great. Chibitel. What's what would be short for Chibitel? Would be Chivy? Chi? Chai? Telly? Telly. Telly Edge of Four. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, this is just like we we you know, we want to establish this character. And I think th this is yes, this is the last um standalone character uh who gets introduced in here, because, I mean, Spider-Man and Black Panther get movies, but they were both introduced in Civil War, um, 
you know, and uh, you know the end, the end, the eye of the Ag- the eye of Ag- the eye of Agamotto is uh, the fifth Infinity Stone on the board, and uh, yeah, and that's the last one. So there's one more that's going to show up later on. We don't know where it's coming from, but uh, yeah, yeah. So, so there's five Infinity Stones on the board, um, and uh, cool. Yeah, the visuals in this are incredible. Um, you know, but another one, like, doesn't dazzle, you know, not like, oh, this is like the greatest superhero movie ever made, but it's a solid entry. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, it's balanced, which is all you can ask for here. Uh, all right. And, uh, that's it for Doctor Strange. Next up will be 2017's. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. I'll talk to you then. Hello, Wicked Theory fans. Edward O'Hare, nicknamed to be determined here. And I just watched Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. Um. <laughs> Baby Groot, man. Baby Groot. <laughs> That, 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 that baby group. Baby group. Oh, baby group. You know, it was, it was funny. Like, this is really standalone. And all of the setup looks like it's for Guardians Volume 3. You know, I mean, you kind of have, like, the Nebula thing in there. But it's really baby group, man. Baby group. You know, and yet, yeah, Kurt Russell, yeah, Kurt Russell, Kurt Russell was, you know, that's another one that's like, that guy's got to act more, that guy's got to do more, he's, <sighs> baby group, man, baby group, <laughs> I mean, you know, anything you could try to fall, it's just, <laughs> it's baby group, <laughs> There's just really any time that you could point to something that be, but might be wrong with this. You, you can't because it's, it, it's got baby Groot. It's got baby Groot. Baby Groot. <laughs> baby Groot. Man. Oh. Uh... <laughs> I love that man. <laughs> Baby Groot. Baby Groot. All right. Next up is uh, 2017 Spider Man Homecoming. Oh, that one doesn't have Baby Groot. Doesn't have Baby Groot. This one at Baby Groot. Hello, Wicked Theory fans. Edward O'Hare, nicknamed to be determined here. And I just watched Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, so, Marvel finally got their chance to do a Spider-Man movie. And, you know, this this feels like them telling Sony, uh, this is how it's done. Um, it's just great all around. And I really love the New York feel in that. Uh, you get the bodega culture in there. I know it wasn't shot in New York, but it really gets that New York vibe down really nicely. Um, Tom Holland is great. Downey's great. Um, you do get some more setup for what's going on with the Avengers, although no Infinity Stones show up, although it doesn't have to. Michael Keaton, man. Michael Keaton. This is really solid. This was my favorite superhero movie of last year. Um, and uh, I can't... I can't believe we're coming into the home stretch now. Like we're really, we're really heading towards it. There's only, only two more movies left before Avengers: Infinity War. Uh, so yeah, um, I gotta, I gotta take a shower, and edit the DC TV report, um, and uh, then I'm gonna watch uh, 2017's Thor Ragnarok. So I'll see you then. 
Hello, Wicked Theory fans. Edward O'Hare, nickname to be determined here. Uh, I just watched Thor Ragnarok with our guest director, Satan. And uh, and my mom watched it too. Did you like the sh Did you like the movie, mom? Yes, I did. Oh, she liked the movie. Okay. Um. So uh. So yeah. This this one was um, you know, back to form. It's funny they're they're hitting all of their marks. Uh, you know, seeing everyone split up after Avengers: Age of Ultron. We saw all the other Avengers in Civil War, and this time we get to see catch up with uh, Thor and the Incredible Hulk. Um, lots of stuff going on. Uh, this is another genre mashup where this time they decided to wrap it up in a wacky 80s cartoon, a la, like Transformers, Thundercats, all of that stuff. Um, uh, a lot I really liked here, uh, Jeff Goldblum, this is like really heavy on the Goldblum. This is like 100 primo, like Pablo Escobar, Medellin Goldblum here. Like, this is like really, you gotta prepare yourself, you know, you have to have a little bit of Goldblum first before you go into this Goldblum. Um, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, you know, so I think those are, those are my basic thoughts. I think, I, th I think we're good. And, um, yeah, so this is the last one I get to watch in the comfort of my home. Uh, if I want to watch the final film in our binge, I have to actually go to a movie theater and catch, uh, the last movie before Infinity War, which is 2018's Black Panther. See you then. Hello, Wicked Theory fans. Edward O'Hare, nicknamed to be determined here. And, uh, I am here in the parking lot of the uh, Linden AMC Aviation 12, where I just saw Black Panther. And, um, you know, this is, uh, this movie introduces us to a whole new world. Um, you know, the same way, you know, you, we've had Asgard, we've had the Cosmos, you know, we, we've you know, you have you have the big giant political world that goes on in like the Avengers and the Captain America movies, and you have the smaller ground worlds where Spider Man operates, and you know all the mystic stuff where Doctor Strange and this, you know, showed us to a whole new you know it's just just when you think like you know there's only so many places Marvel can go they 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 managed to to bring out someplace else, and um, there's a lot lot to enjoy here. Uh, you really see Ryan Coogler, there's a distinct voice here. There's a distinct vision. Um, you know, once again, this is balanced perfectly. We've got great villains, bold enough to kill Andy Serkis. Like, wow, that's, that's intense, you know? Um, you yeah, know, this kind of builds up, you know, mostly this flows out of Civil War and Avengers Age of Ultron. Um, uh, they don't declare Vibranium an, an Infinity Stone, which is where I thought they were going to go with this, but no, no, um, you know, and really the only setup for the next one is, is, uh, well, is, uh, Bucky at the end, and, um, you know, you have all the outreach at the UN, um, so, yeah, 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 I, again, you know, this, this is probably going to be the highest grossing movie this year, depending, you know, depending on where Avengers Infinity War goes, um, but, uh, yeah, there's a lot to like here. There's a lot to like. Now, where does that leave us? Um, this has been a fun ride. Uh, 18 movies. I did it in like nine or 10 days. Um, uh, I'd like to thank Bill Sweeney again for entrusting me with this mission. Uh, glad it's been carried out. You know, I guess I'll do another video when I see Avengers Infinity War, uh, this Thursday, but, um, yeah, yeah, man, so where are we now, we have, we have five Infinity Stones on the board, five, so you've got the Tesseract, then you've got, um, uh, the Tesseract, which the Asgardians are holding on that spaceship, which, heading to Earth, so, you know, what, whatever's going on in there, then you get the Ether, which the Collector has, then, uh, then you got the Power Stone, which is uh, the Nova Corps holding on Xandar. And uh, then you have the Mind Stone, which is uh, currently, you know, grafted onto Vision's forehead. And you've got the Eye of Agamotto, which um, Doctor Strange is holding around his neck. Um, so, you know, and then there's a sixth one that's out there somewhere. Don't know where it is. I guess we're going to find out in a couple days. Um... And, like, you know, Phase 3 is very good at setting everyone in place. In Civil War, we had a lot of the Avengers on the run. Captain America, Falcon, Ant-Man, Hawkeye, and Scarlet Witch are all on the run. We don't know where they are. They're hiding in the shadows somewhere. Um, uh, 
you know, War Machine is, you know, maybe paralyzed. We'll see what kind of, what those bionic implants are going to, that Tony developed is going to, is going to help out, uh, Rhodey, you know, feel, feel really bad for him. Black Widow is off somewhere. You know, she, she got let go. So I don't know if she's hooking up with Captain America, if she's doing her own thing. Uh, can't really think that she'd want to hang around Tony that much. Um, and, uh, you know, then, then for, uh, Dr. Strange, uh, you know, he's, he's in his perch now, lording over, um, uh, lording over, uh, the mystic realm and, and watching things coming, you know, from watching out for all the things that are coming at them. And, uh, then what was next was, uh, Guardians, uh, you know, so the Guardians, you know, they're, they're reeling from Yondu's death, and they're on that ship, you know, heading out somewhere, they don't know where they're going, but, you know, we have a chance that, you know, they're probably going to meet up with somebody, then we had, uh, Spider-Man, and, you know, Spider-Man's decided he's going to hold down the fort in New York, and we also saw Tony there, and, you know, they're running Avengers Tower, and Avengers Tower, and, you know, him and Pepper are, are back together again. Remember Civil War? They were, they were on the outs, and then you know Gwyneth Paltrow decided to take a paycheck and show up for, the, for five minutes and for two, thirty seconds in Spider-Man: Homecoming. So now they're together again. So I don't know what that's going to mean. Um, you know, are we going to see Betty Ross? Are we going to see Jane Foster? Uh, then Thor Ragnarok. We got Hulk and uh, Grand Incredible Hulk. And Thor, they're on that ship in Asgard, uh, with all the Asgardians heading towards Earth. They ran into that other bigger giant ship that we, you know, that is probably run by Thanos, commanded by Thanos. So, um, and then, you know, after this movie, Black Panther, we have uh, Black Panther has warded off a, uh, a coup and has stabilized his kingdom and is now beginning to reach out and share his knowledge with the rest of the world. And, you know, um, yeah, so I think that's the rundown. This is a long video, but I wanted to give that little basics, and, um, you know, so uh, thank you so much for watching. I, I hope this was informative. I hope this was funny. Um, you know, Bill will find a way to make this funny, I'm sure. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I gotta get I gotta get home for Sunday dinner, and um, I, I, uh, I guess I'll talk to you again in a couple days after the premiere of Avengers Infinity War. Thanks so much. Bye. That cannon deal. 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 That cannon deal.